zombie apocalypse. All right, hey YouTube. Today this is Step One Gaming, and I am bringing the Rust update, episode number four. So this is a awesome series, and let's get into talk about all the new stuff that is in this game. There has been major updates from the third video to now, which is about two weeks. So let's go over the first most obvious things. In the bottom right corner, you could see like a fork and a knife, a drink, and a health. So my health is at 100 right now. And the drink means your hydration, so you have to stay hydrated, I'm assuming, by drinking water or any other substances. And then food is very low, so that means I'm very hungry. So you have to keep eating food as well as staying hydrated, which is new to the game, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see, if you look around, the map just looks amazing. They have the mountains over there, they have the nice water reflecting, the trees, there's different types of trees and bushes and all the rocks everything just looks so nice so that's pretty awesome so let's go and just um, talk about some new stuff first I need to get some woods that way I can show you guys some of the new things right off the bat because uh, some things are kind of hard to craft it takes a little bit of uh, time to craft those things so first off as you can see here this this wood right here is a level one wall this right here is a level two wall So now you are able to upgrade your walls I think to like level five and it turns into like rock or stone And I don't think you're able to break those walls So if you just sit here with a hammer and you keep whacking the wall It'll level up and level up and level up So it makes it harder for somebody to break into the house. I believe So that's pretty awesome. I love that improvement. That's pretty great improvement and I'm just going to show you guys the inventory real quick. Um, as you can see, everything's the same here. Everything's the same here. And just about everything is the same on the helmets and stuff. You know, they haven't really touched those. But what they did add is they had a salvaged axe. Then they have a hammer, but then they have a salvaged hammer. I don't like the salvaged hammer. I used it. But, like, when you whack with it, it, like, shakes the whole screen and it doesn't do anything. I don't know why, I feel like the hammer is a lot more efficient than the salvaged hammer. Uh, there's a hatchet, you know the basic hatchet, then you have a salvaged ice pick. So I am assuming you have to go and get ice and like, you let it melt and it turns into water, I don't know, maybe. And then you have a regular pickaxe, then you have a stone hatchet and a torch. And they added this med kits, you know, they have medical syringe, heal yourself or others with a syringe. So that's pretty awesome. I like what they added. And it should be under here. Here we go. Stone spear. You have a wooden spear. And you also have... Oh, no, that's it. I thought there was something else. Sorry. So you can have a wooden spear and a stone spear. They cost the same wood, but this one has a stone on it. So let me just show you guys a couple of things real quick off the bat that uh, I can make just from wood. See, this is a level five wall. As you can see, it's like stone. I don't think I can, yeah, I don't think I'm able to break. I think you need like a pickaxe or something. But it's, it looks, this game is looking awesome. And now when you start up Rust from like a shortcut or of Steam, the play Rust is now the experimental version. And then the, the old version is now called the Legacy. So this, this version will automatically boot now because now they're pretty far in the process and they want everybody to start playing this and start testing the servers. And it's just awesome how good this game looks. So as you can see, um, this is a long time update, but they added that you'd get 20 wood from each whack. But I don't, I don't know if I like this system because you have to collect thousands of wood. And like a thousand wood is equal to like 10 wood back in the old rust. So if you understand what I'm saying, actually no more like a hundred. So a hundred wood is equal to 10 wood in the previous version of rust. And I don't know if I like that because you're going to need to put 2000 wood into a furnace instead of 10. You know, I feel like they made all the numbers bigger for like a non, a not really a good reason. I don't know why, but all right, let's just finish collecting the wood real quick. Uh, it should be under, oh, here it is. Uh, oh, 200, I thought it was 100. Okay, now that we have enough, let's make a stone spear. 
takes a little bit. It takes actually a really long time, actually. So I, I wish it had a little time. And like in the older Rust, it told you like 3.5 seconds or 20 seconds. And I really like that. Oh, I almost missed this. You can make their shotgun shells and cartridges and pistol bullet and wooden arrows. I don't know if that was there last time. I don't think that was there. I'm not sure. Uh, the bear trap. I believe they fixed the bear trap. Where it, you put it down, it could actually trap humans and bears. And other animals, I believe. So that's pretty cool. So. I definitely want to have another look. And I'd like to see a couple more things updated that I wish they would add into the game. And they also changed the building plan. The way it looks, as you can see, it's like a blue piece of paper now. Not just a foundation picture. Oh, one more thing. There we go. There we go. So when my spear is done, it's made for hunting animals. I, I've killed other players with it. Um, so they, they said they improved the animal AIs and they're supposed to like bite you in a different way. Like they're supposed to jump at you and all that cool stuff. So this spear is taking forever. So I'm just going to pause the video and continue it. So when it's done, you could just attack that pig. Alright, I'm back. The spear is done. So let's go after this pig that I think disappeared. Let's go find him. We'll definitely be able to find the pig now. So let's go. There he is. Oh. Is he dead? Okay, so now... So, so that was... Now you're actually able to kill the animals, which is pretty awesome because I remember in the other uh, updates of the game, they made the animals, but you weren't allowed to kill them. So that's pretty awesome. So now that you're allowed to kill them and you see this little uh, red square, that means the door is locked because he has a lock on it. And if it's green, that means it's unlocked. So I'm just telling you guys Then you can make, I believe, as many keys as you want for your door. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's just about everything for this update. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. This is episode 4, so I'll be putting an episode 5 out very soon because there's going to be a couple more big updates coming out. That's what they've been saying, so I can't wait to do that. Thank you guys. 